uhusiano wa kiuchumi na kisiasa kati ya naibu wa rais William Ruto na seneta wa Bungoma Moses Wetangula ulianza Januari 2019 wakati walipanga jama ya kumlagai mtoto wa mfalme wa milki za Uarabuni UAE Ali Zadi dhaabu kutoka Jamhuri ya Kidemokrasia ya Kongo Ruto na Wetangula walitumia wanabiashara wawili umu nchini Zair Janda na Don Bosco Gishana kumlagai mwana mfalme huyo wa Dubai. You tell you tell you tell one minute I I I changed in something I, better I, I, and, and I've been here for 10 days that's, for that's Moses. Bro they told me at 9 o'clock so they set up a meeting for themselves 11 o'clock Dubai time which is 10 10 o'clock here. I know because they wanted answers and then every day something is changing brother i cannot do this with these people you know what i mean and believe me these people are powerful brother of course i know i mean from what i've heard and what i've zahir na bosco walimwada alizadi kuwa ongemsaidia kupata dhahabu kutoka congo na kuisafirisha moja kwa moja hadi dubai kupitia umu nchini kenya i want to cause a deal right now brother. let me tell you And I want to leave on Monday, brother. Okay. Ali Ali I want to tell you. Monday for sure or no? Okay. And if I give you my word, and that's it because that is the word that everybody goes with. Zahir alitia sahi kadarasi ya kusafirisha tani tisa za dhahabu kutoka Kenya hadi Dubai kati yake na Ali Zadi kwa takriban shilingi bilioni 1.3. Katika mkataba huo Zahir Marian Jada ambaye ni mshirika wa karibu wa Ruto na Wetangula angesafirisha kwanza kilo 1400 za dhahabu katika visanduku na kulipwa pesa taslim. Zahir alifaa kusaidia Zilvia Limited kampuni yake Ali Zadi kwa kila namna kusafirisha dhahabu kutoka Kongo hadi Kenya bila kusumbuliwa na asazi zote za kisheria na kisalama umu nchini. Hata hivyo, ile dhahabu ya mtoto wa mfalme kutoka Kongo iliweza kunaswa na asazi za usalama hapa nchini Kenya na hivyo basi habari hiyo iliweza kujipata katika vyombo vya habari umu nchini news of a gold consignment held up at the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport hit the headlines from there a series of fits and starts baada ya sakata hiyo kutibuka hapa nchini mnamo Mei 2019 Ruto alitumia mshirika wake wa karibu Paul Kiprop kumshawishi mwanamfalme wa Dubai Ali Zadi kuwa angepata dhahabu zake salama nchini UAE bila wasiwasi katika mazungumzo yake na Paul Kiproba Ali Zadi alishangaa ni vipi Ruto angemsaidia na hakuwa kwenye kadarasi hiyo hapo awali Jambo ambalo Ali Zadi akufahamu ni kuwa wale ambao alikuwa akishirikiana nao kutoka awali Zair Marian Jada na bon Don Bosco Gishana wote ni vibaraka wa Ruto. So, they're just, they're small fishes, very very small fishes. Okay, 
tell the boss to return what he took. Okay, the yeah. money he took. Uh, yeah. This is just a matter of time. Wetangula pia anajitokeza wakati huo kumwaahidi mwanamfalme Alizadi kuwa angepata dhabu yake kama walivyokubaliana hapo awali katika mkataba waliotia sahi I need to know when exactly the court is going to Eldoret and when exactly is going to tomorrow evening you are going to verify cargo okay as you and must uh, and then when is it going let me finish as you must okay and for you you had told him you had done that you had it so find a way of how to cover that yourself tomorrow evening you're going with the zaid to see the cargo once you finish and you confirm that this has uh, the quantum and everything then the next day it leaves and the police has got to end up. on wednesday evening on wednesday evening it arrives in eldoret around wednesday midnight 1 a.m everything will be arranged when you arrive there's no question of documentation on anything once they arrive and you load take off. so i leave on thursday or, or thursday evening ruto na wetangula kupitia watu wao wa mkono Zair Mariana Jada na Don Bosco Gishana walifanikiwa kumlagai mwanamfalme wa Dubai Ali Zadi takriban milioni 850 na akupata dhabu zake kule Dubai kama mkataba ulivyoashiria Bado uchunguzi wa sakata hii unaendelea Ilali milioni 850 za mwanafalme wa Dubai Ali Zadi ziko kwenye mifuko ya Ruto na Wetangula. Je, Ruto na Wetangula wanastahili kushikilia ofisi za umma?